Now, the film, obvi the films obviously have a lot of young fan bases. But, you know, my father introduced this to me. To me, this is like the baby boomer movie to, like, make up for all those Dracula films. <laughs> you keep that, that, that idea, that comedy in there. There's Geritol references in the TV show, sure. so on and so forth. Do you feel that you have to, like, try and stay away from placating to a younger audience and keep everybody entwined in this? No, we're just we're playing to an audience, period. We don't care what age they are. I want Granny to watch this show <laughs> because we hope that she'll find something in it that's funny. Or maybe the gore will laugh. People laugh at the gore in these movies because it's so, you go, really? <laughs> People got that much blood in them? <laughs> you know. It's true. So we, we want to, A, appeal to the original fans who got us here. It's, they're the ones who brought us here. And then we want to appeal to everybody else who's, who go, what's this evil dead baloney? Mm. You know, when we get them, we want them to come in. So if you like horror, stop by. <laughs> and if you like comedy, stop by because maybe you'll like one or the other. You might not like gore, but maybe it's a funny show. Something for everybody. Something for everybody. Yeah. Um, I was actually hoping you can clear something up for me because sure. I remember I, I bought one of those, you know, Book of the Dead versions of the DVD and the realized the writing. six versions of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And realized that the writing in there was basically just graffiti of English letters. Mm -hmm. And I looked back and paused Evil Dead 2 and noticed that I took a screenshot just in case. The, You're getting pretty, pretty fancy The here, uh, portal spell actually says somebody's name and then says, pardon my French, is an asshole and go fuck himself. Whose name was it? I don't know. I can't figure it out. Well, maybe you'd know. Uh, well, this is Tom Sullivan, the great <laughs> Tom Sullivan, who did the first special effects for the Evil Dead. Yeah. And he's an artist, first and foremost. So he, he created the book. That was his design. And I could, well, what letters could you find in there? I got like a, this is I-S-A-A-N-A-S-S-H-O-L-E. Oh, yeah. Uh, A-N-C-A-N, and then there's F-U-G-O and then self. Wow. <laughs> uh, well, it's worth a look to see some, but look, artists do this crap all yeah. the time. They, they embed little secret messages to go, ooh, look at <laughs> I did that. You know, that's fine. That's what I was wondering if anybody, it was like something you guys no, had planned no, on. No, no, you're or... the first one who brought that one up. Interesting, mm -hmm. interesting. But it doesn't mean it's not true. It, it could very likely be the case. I'll hunt him down and find out. Tom Sullivan, next time you see him, ask him who the asshole was. <laughs> I'm going to find out. I'm going to figure it out. Is Sam different when he's doing TV compared to film? No, but he just has to move faster. Yeah. You know, Sam Raimi sets don't fly along because hmm. they're so complicated. The shots are so complex. Takes a long time to set up, a long time to figure it out, and then you get it, and you move on to the next complicated shot. <laughs> uh, television is the same, but it's the fastest he's ever had to move, only because you got to, you know, we have parameters. It's not a feature; you can't just go forever. Yeah. So that was new to him, but Rob and I are TV guys, Rob Tappert, and so we, you know, we we could sort of poke him and prod him and. <laughs> Tell them how to simplify stuff, and uh, it worked out fine because we all know we all know this world so much that it wasn't that hard to do. Well, are you noticing the changes in the TV world? I mean, Burn Notice is also one of those TV shows that started kind of this new revolution, and you've done before that. Are you seeing like the change in how these you know worlds coming out? Well, TV is now giving you all the options. If you want to get something made, go to television. Mm. Screw the feature business. You know they're they're busy with their three hundred million dollar movies. They don't really care about any other movies there in the feature side of it. So TV picks up all the slack. TV is the B movies. TV is the, you know, you got your sci-fi channel. Uh, TV is all the really classy stuff now. As classy as any movie. You know, you got your Fargos that are mm -hmm. getting incredible reviews and, uh, you know, your, good God, your Mad Men's and things like that. They changed the face of television. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Television blew. It did. It was a wasteland. Yeah. It was an absolute wasteland. And you went there as an actor when you were first starting out. I did Knott's Landing. You know, these, move, the, the, these TV shows, can I just say, nothing against the people who worked on them. The lighting sucked. They, you, guys, you see eight shadows. The camera work is shoddy. It's, television is so much better now than your average, even T.J. Hooker episode. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Just the quality of everything has improved and the writing has improved. Mm -hmm. the, the writers are in television now. And if you want to tell a story, this is perfect for the Evil Dead fans. Because if you want to tell a long story over a long period of time and give these people hours of material, it's not in movies. Because those will come out every two, three years if you're lucky. We do Evil Dead movies every decade. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this is the best way to give the fans what they want. 
And STARS is the only one that gave us unrestricted, the only one. Mm. And so there was no other home for this. We would have been accused of soft selling this. It would have been our fault <laughs> if we did this on cable and you see a chainsaw start to get in there and cut to a commercial. Yeah. You know, they would they would go, yeah, really? <laughs> I mean, the audience would know. This audience, you can't be fooled. And so even in features, you can't even do unrated. I mean, the first two Evil Dead movies are unrated, but it that causes problems because a lot of times you can't put it on TV. Mm -hmm. The radio... Certain stations won't aver let you advertise, you know, if it's unrated, because that's the way you can tell whether it's a decent movie or not. Well, we're finally back to being, this is unrated TV. How far do we have to wait for that? Three, oh. I think, is where we meet. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In episode three. Episode three. Uh, and then, then it's a road trip. We're literally stalking Ash and his loser buddies. I think that's the, I think that's the official term for them. Loser, loser buddies. buddies. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag loser, loser buddies. buddies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>